Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? Well, we're just coming from Tremethusa. We are just down from the, well, the road that takes you up to Tosada. And there's an alarm going off on a car behind me for some reason there. Uh, obviously, some guys confuse his key or whatever it is. Anyway, here we are. We're going to head down towards Masoi Avenue. And, uh, well, you may notice the skies are a little bit grey. That's for sure. Uh, it's not blue today. Oh, no. And there's the odd drop of rain hitting the windscreen. So interesting times in downtown Paphos. I think we've got a, a combination of the winter and the spring having a bit of discussion. And now and again, the summer even pops in as well. But today, well, it's like an autumn day, to be honest. Those skies are pretty grey. The roads are, well, disastrous. It doesn't matter what car you're in, by the way. Um, you know, Mercedes S Class air suspension, and uh, even with that a little luxury, the uh, road surfaces are absolutely Sherlock Holmes. I mean, if your name is Lady Oh Oh So So Sweet Caroline, and you've got a husband called Lord Nigel Biggins, well, get your bottom on a memory foam cushion or pillow, and uh, just before you do, pour a tot or two for Nigel because uh, it just takes away the pain doesn't it? Anyway, there we are. This is the top of Masoi Avenue so this is the Masoi Avenue roundabout. We are going to take a left and we're going to head down towards the area known as Anabargus. To give you a reference point that is Trimark Motors on the right hand side. If you want a luxury used car that could be the place for you to go. Coming up here we've got a good kiosk and it's got quite a good coffee shop in it. I think it's called Ricano. I think that's how you pronounce it. And please, please forgive the camera quality. I'm holding it free hand today because, uh, well, the mount, to be honest, with these roads is bobbling it around. So I'm wondering if holding it in the hand on a selfie stick might be better. This is the way I used to do it. So, welcome to Mr. Paul's Breakfast Club. That's what you're watching. And uh, there's a few people on the sofas today. Let's go and check and see. Look at this road service. It is absolutely diabolical, isn't it? It really, really is Sherlock Holmes. It's up there with William Shakespeare and possibly even shooting through to Chichorian English because, uh, well, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. If you are thinking about relocating to downtown Paphos, by the way, and perhaps you've got some littlies or some not so littly children and you want to pop them into a school, well, coming up on the left hand side is the International. I mean, look at this surface now. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. Anyway, if your name's Dizzy Blonde, I think you understand me. Look at the potholes. Potholes from hell, isn't it? Anyway, as I was saying, on the left hand side, that is the International School of Downtown Paphos. And uh, well, one of the best schools in the whole of Cyprus, not just in Paphos. Lots of people go there and lots of people go on into universities in various countries around the world, not just in the UK and not just in Cyprus, but uh, there's people residing in that school there from Germany and France and Sweden and Switzerland, British people, Russian people, Ukrainian people, a couple of Frenchies apparently because I've got a couple of French customers and their children go there as well. So there we go, a very, very diverse school. And uh, most of the people get on in there very, very well and then go on to do very well afterwards. Ah, I apologise for the road surface. I mean, this probably is the worst. Look at it. I mean, it's absolutely diabolical. The air suspension hasn't got a clue what to do. What you're seeing is pothole after pothole. And I am doing my very, very best to miss them. But unfortunately, one of the wheels then goes and catches them. So stick with us. Here we are. We're in Anavargos. This is what this area is called. And uh, mainly it's an area where people just live, if you understand me. There are all your business around. There's an architect coming up just down there. Uh, you've got a bit of building going on there for a shop or something. This is a gallery. And then just coming up down here is the Sun... What's it called? Is it called Sun Best? No, Sun Fresh. Sun Fresh Bakery. And then you've got the pit stop kiosk coming up on the right. This is the main post office for Paphos. That's there on the right as well. And now we're going to come up to one of the roundabouts, which is called the Fountain Roundabout in downtown Athos. If you were to take a left here, you would actually go down towards the General Hospital, another bakery there called Papa Antonio. Anyway, let's go and check on the sofas and see who's in town. We understand that uh, sitting on her own very, very special sofa is the one and only Dame Anne, because uh, you know, she's a superstar amongst superstars, and she's in charge of pretty much everything on the Marika and the 
about the YouTube channel. We've also got a website, by the way, marikaandme.com, and if perhaps you've got a photograph that you may have taken of yourself or your partner in crime or your dog or your cat, maybe, and you want to share it with us and the other family members, why not upload that to the site known as marikaandme.com? Go to photos and you can upload it. You can also have a conversation as well if you want with us, and uh, more often than not, we will reply. My God, this road surface is absolutely terrible, isn't it? I'm going to have to have a word with that Gumbaru. That's the great man himself, Mr. Fadonis, the mayor, and say to him, look, get on with the Papas Harbour, get that finished, and then get out there and start doing some filling in potholes. Chuck some of that black stuff in the back of your black Mercedes and get yourself a shovel and a whacker plate and a couple of men and get round and do it. Because the roads, well, they are absolutely awful. If you're curious to know what this strange grey looking building is on the left hand side, that's the place where they uh, concoct your electricity bills and that's the place where they grunt at you when you go to pay it when you feel that you've been uh, well overcharged and uh, we know that's the same all over the world. Unfortunately it's something we have to pay but uh, electricity bills in Cyprus, I think they're one of the most expensive in Europe. Anyway, we're going to take a left and we're going to head off up into the area known as Konya. And then we're going to head up to Armu because we're going home for lunch. That's what we do. And if you want to see Miss Arching receive the booth, don't forget to come back a little bit later. And probably we'll be Chuchuchka dancing down the Cape of Paphos promenade or somewhere in the harbour area. So there we are. Great car dealer. That's uh, Giros, I think it's called, on the side there. And again, we've circled round this road coming up on the left now. Again, if you go left, you would go up to the Anavagos roundabout, but you would actually go past the General Hospital, which will be on your right-hand side. So if you watch the channel from time to time, slowly but surely, you will get to learn your way around the roads, in and around Paphos and uh, some of the villages around. And uh, again, this road here is absolutely awful and the car is struggling to cope with all of these raised manholes and lowered manholes and that kind of thing. So big shout out, who's sitting next to Dayman? I'll guess who it is. It's the one and only superstar, and she really, really is a star, and she's a fantastic lawyer in downtown Poland, and that must mean that her name is Miss Anna Star, and she's coming to Pathos very, very soon, and if we're very, very lucky, we're going to get her, her husband, and her Mercedes-loving son on camera, and hopefully we'll get her to say Dizzling Dobra, which of course means, well, in my language, good morning in Polish, although I'm not quite pronouncing it correctly am I? Anyway, Lord Simon, I know you're looking forward to meeting Drizzling Deborah and uh, I'm sure she's waiting for you and uh, maybe even Mr Jeremy as well. Sorry, Lord Jeremy as well. Anyway, where are we? We're in Konya village, that's where we are and uh, slowly starting our ascent up to our moon village. Look at this for a speed bump now. There we are. I tell you absolutely diabolical but I'm very very hungry today I've been up early this morning by the way I've been off to Limassol's this morning and I uh, left very very early to make sure that I beat the traffic because Limassol does get quite congested around school time and the rush hour in the morning so I set out this morning at six o'clock and arrived in Limassol just before seven picked up a car and got back just before the rush hour started and even beat the pathos rush hour not that we get most of Rush Hour. Rush Hour and Paphos, if you're curious, starts at somewhere around about 5 to 8 in the morning and ends at somewhere around about 10 past 8. Then it starts again at about 10 to 9 and then normally ends by about 10 past 9. There we go. Paphos is not a bad place to live, as you've come to understand. Normally we have spectacular weather, but at the moment we're having a little bit of the old chopsy mopsy stuff. So stick with us. We're heading up towards Armu village and uh, if you kept going, you'd keep on going towards Episcopi. And uh, before that, you've got the luxury five-star store, star, five star golf resort, villas and sort of hotelish apartment apartmenty complex known as Memphis Hills, which means you're in Tassada which is uh, set up in the hills above Paphos. I think it's about 2,000 metres above sea level. And uh, that means, of course, in the winter, sometimes you can get a little flurry of snow. Look at these potholes again. I know you think I'm always on about them, but I am. It doesn't matter what car. Imagine if you're in a, a lesser car. 
you know, without trying to insult anyone, that HRV up there, great, great car, but I know that they're very, very bouncy. So of course, if you're in that car, you'll be having a life bounced out of you, that is for sure. So I'm looking forward to my lunch, and uh, I wonder what Oching receiving out of the booth has made. She told me she's made something special, so probably an omelette and some salad and that kind of stuff. And then after that, we're off down to Cato Paphos to uh, see if we can get ourselves accosted or perhaps if we can accost someone you never know live on camera. This is Armu Village, a great, great place to live, by the way. If you're looking for a, a special place, perhaps as a permanent home or as a holder home, we're only five minutes from downtown Paphos, well, 10 minutes from the harbour, but five minutes from the centre of Paphos and the old town. And, uh, well, not a very busy road, as you can see. And there's awful lot of different properties up here, from apartments to small bungalows to big multi-million euro villas. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. And of course, if you do like what you see, want to hit the like, click, subscribe, perhaps come back for a little bit more of my madness. And why not go through to our about page and keep this channel afloat. Go buy us a coffee or two, and it's very, very much appreciated. This is the R Move kiosk, one of the greatest kiosks in the whole of Paphos. And it sells pretty much anything that you can possibly want. Here's the humble abode with a bunch of cars parked outside. Thanks for watching.